In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to teach you how to take an old TV stand and turn it into something that's super cute. Then we'll take an old stool that I picked up at a garage sale for $5 and we'll turn that into something super cute too. So you ready? Let's do this. A couple weeks back, the thrift stores finally opened, and this was one of my finds were these TV trays. They were only $14.99. TV stands are really hot right now, and I took them home and I spray painted the legs black. I covered up the tabletop with bags and some painter's tape, because we didn't really want to get any paint on that. Let them dry overnight, and in the morning, I stood them up and sprayed the parts that I missed. The following day, I sanded down the tabletop so that I could get some of that gloss off of there. The decorative edges were kind of hard to get to, so I just hand sanded that with a little sandpaper. Now it was time for a little stain. With the cloth, I applied the darker stain to the tabletops. You're going to always want to wear gloves when you're working with stain, or else it'll be very difficult to get off your hands. Although the color was nice, I decided to do a second coat on this because I really wanted these to be a little bit darker. I bought an argyle pattern off of Etsy for my silhouette so that I could cut that out and we could stencil that onto the tabletops. The file I bought was pretty small which I didn't realize so I had to modify it and make it a little bigger. I had to do this in two sections because my silhouette is just not that large to do a whole tabletop. In hindsight, I probably should just bought a stencil and then I wouldn't have had to mess around with resizing it and cutting it in two sections. It would have just been so much easier. Using a dark charcoal paint, I started to stencil our pattern onto the tabletop. Now that charcoal gray looked really good when I did it on this table, but when I started to lift it up, it just was not dark enough for this wood. I hated it. So I took it outside and I sprayed it with that black paint that I used on the legs. I used a scrap piece of cardboard just to kind of like protect the sides so I didn't get any on there. That looked much better. After letting that dry, I cut out lines to finish our argyle pattern. I did it on clear contact paper so that I could see where I was placing the lines. You want to carefully put that right in the middle of your diamond squares. Now using just a plain acrylic white, we're going to stencil on those lines. You just want to take your stencil brush and just pounce on all the little openings in that stencil. Now I'm carefully peeling back the stencil so that I can see the lines underneath. I let that dry for a little bit and then I moved on to the other side. I carefully lined it up so that the lines were in the middle of my diamonds. Again, using the white paint, you're going to want to take your stencil brush and just pounce in all the open areas. After pulling back the contact paper, I noticed there was a little smudging. If this happens, don't worry. All you have to do is take a little wet paper towel and just kind of wipe it lightly. I even went in with a little brush and made it a little darker. And voila, not bad at all. Now we're gonna take our stain and we're gonna tone down the white a little bit.
This gives it a really finished look and I really love how it turned out. The only thing left for us to do is put a coat of that polyurethane on. This will just protect all the work that we did. I seen this old stool at a garage sale and bought it for $5. I decided to paint the legs a flat black. I thought that would look really good. After that was dry, I sanded the top of the stool with my sander. Then using a dark walnut stain, I stained the top. If it doesn't look dark enough, you can always put two coats on, and that's actually what I did. I bought this adorable wreath design off of Etsy. I took it into the Silhouette Design Studio and I made this. From there I sent it to the Silhouette Cutter and I cut out the design. Because I have one of the older Silhouettes I had to do this in two sections because it's just not wide enough. After it was cut I weeded out the letters, I put some transfer tape on the top and I peeled off the backing. From there you want to place your design down on the furniture that you're going to be using it on. I always like to just set my design down just to kind of get a look at what it's going to look like and make sure it looks good. Once I know it looks good, then I peel the backing off and I put it in the place that I had it. With a credit card, just kind of go over that and make sure that all your pieces are down. Now, carefully remove the transfer paper. Be extra careful around the little pieces in the center of your designs. They like to come up, so when you're pulling the transfer tape, make sure those little center pieces aren't coming out as well. I took some extra contact paper and just kind of covered up those areas that weren't going to be spray painted. I took the stool outside and I sprayed it with black flat paint. I let that dry in the sun for a little bit and then I started to peel off the stencil. For me, this is the most rewarding part. I think it's so cool to see your finished design. Now using that dark walnut stain that we used, we're going to put another coat on top of our design. Now time for that polyurethane. This is just going to assure that our design isn't going to wipe away when multiple people sit on the stool. I just love this stool and I knew it could be so much more than what it was. If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.